Hello everybody, I'd like to thank Sue and colleagues for inviting me to participate in your event. I am disappointed not to be able to take part in your panel event and so hopefully this video message will give you an insight into the latest thinking the Welsh Government has when it comes to land management reform. Before I start, I would like to say how desperately disappointing it is the show, like many other wonderful Welsh cultural celebrations, is unable to take place this year. I'm sure you'll agree, public health comes first, and thanks to the public's efforts, we have succeeded in bringing the fire of coronavirus under control. But that fire is not out yet. The worst thing that could happen is a second spike, which is why we continue our rational and cautious approach. And the Welsh Government will do its very best working with the Royal Welsh Agricultural Society to ensure it can take place next year. In the meantime, I want to congratulate you in bringing people together across Wales to carry on with lives and businesses as normal as possible and to have this important discussion as part of your Wales inquiry. As some of you may be aware, two weeks ago I gave an update to the Senate on the next steps the Welsh Government is taking to develop proposals for future agricultural support in Wales. The statement follows year-long work as part of a range of activity for our sustainable farming and our land consultation. The consultation presented a case for future funding to support and reward farmers who operate sustainable farming systems. In a world where future trade agreements are likely to open up our markets to a greater degree of competition, demonstrating the sustainability of food produced on Welsh farms with high animal welfare and environmental standards is likely to be increasingly important. My aim is a framework that allows us to support the production of sustainable food and deliver against our environmental justice commitments. The proposed approach would provide an important income stream for farmers, recognising the important work they do in delivering environmental outcomes and rewarding them for it. In addition, we are seeking to reinforce the long-term competitiveness of the sector through enhanced business advice and support. This will help support farmers in the new economic realities following the UK's departure from the EU. The competitiveness of farming, food production and improved environmental resilience are complementary agendas and our proposals are clear in this regard. Our proposed sustainable land management approach will allow us to respond to the climate emergency, will help to reverse biodiversity decline, will ensure high standards of animal health and welfare and will protect our natural resources. Furthermore, food produced using this approach will be sustainable, ensuring a food supply for future generations. We are now working on a range of fuller options for a scheme based on the sustainable land management framework. Each option will be judged in terms of cost, benefit and compliance with our Wellbeing of Future Generations Act and the Environment Wales Act 2016. To support the development of our proposals, we are undertaking a range of economic analysis to understand the impact of moving from an entitlement-based income support scheme to a voluntary scheme that rewards the production of outcomes. There will be a transition period to enable farmers to adjust their existing business model to accommodate any changes required by the proposed scheme. Before the end of this Senate term, I will publish a white paper that will pave the way for the introduction of an Agricultural Wales Bill during the sixth Senate term. In addition to ensure farmers are supported following the UK exit from the EU, I intend to launch a consultation later in the summer to seek views on the retention and simplification of rules around agricultural support for farmers and the rural economy. This support would bridge the gap between the current EU funding and any new scheme based on sustainable land management. Globally, it has been an extremely challenging few months and Welsh farmers, of course, have not been exempt from recent circumstances. I am proud of the resilience they have shown in responding to those difficulties. Farmers, foresters and other land managers play a vital part in the economic, environmental and social well-being of Wales and we will continue to support them to adapt to economic and political changes as well as the impact of climate change. During the pandemic, many communities have gained an increased appreciation for our natural environment. Not just the part it plays in well-being and recreation, 
but also in underpaying key rural economies. It has shown how much visitors from beyond Wales enjoy our wonderful seasides and countryside. And we are now cautiously reopening tourism in Wales. We are looking forward to welcoming visitors back to Wales and to see people from Wales revisiting their favourite places again and discovering new ones, but doing so responsibly. As you may know, the Council General is leading on our recovery work and has been engaging with a broad range of stakeholders on their priorities for recovery and will be continuing this discussion in the weeks ahead. I'm sure today's event and the entire virtual festival will provide further matters for consideration and help in identifying early priorities for our external panel to help us with. I am determined the recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic will accelerate and not deter us from the transition to a low carbon economy and a healthier, more equal Wales. I wish you a very successful event.